Hello! Welcome to a slightly unusual location for today. I am in the spare bedroom of my new house. Uh, yes, I've moved house. Still got access to the old workshop, but we are not there at the moment. And today, because, well, I'm still not well, but I do like making videos and I can still just about edit them at the moment. I have a Hick Micro Mini 2 V2 Thermal Imager. So I would like to show this to you, assuming I can get the box open. So what attracted me to this is the, what they call Super IR, the Image Enhancement Technology, which is supposed to take the standard 256 by 192 image sensor and obviously uh, interpolate it to be a larger, more clear image perhaps. Uh, this has a 25 hertz as well, which I thought would be nice for videos in the future. Get a bit more uh, video in our video, if you know what I mean. Less stuttery. So this is USB-C, which is good for all the new Androids and all the new iPhones. But I believe it comes with an adapter for the older iPhones. Come on. That. And a box of... Instructions, a thank you card, thank you for, yep, Amazon, and instructions. Uh, we're not going to read because we we'll have to read them, it's a sad day. We've got a nice little semi-hard case here. Oh, it's already escaped. So there it is, it is a little teeny tiny, let me bring you over to the camera, teeny tiny imager. Nice, it feels to be in all either aluminium or another alloy construction. Hopefully. What I'm hoping to see in here is, right, so that's an USB-C to USB-C extension because we're going to be using one of our Doogee phones which has got a really deep USB-C slot in it way down there so there's not much chance of a, a normal sized USB thing making it in. But I've got an extension and the other one should be for the iPhone users is a USB-C to lightning port, that's what it's called. Oh wait, hold on, it's not just, this works on PCs as well, I'm sure I saw on the thing you can connect up to your laptop, I need to try that uh, later, I will bring the laptop up here and we'll plug it in because we have a USB-C extension cable. Uh, actually, First things first, I know I know what this is for. This is for the app, isn't it? We need Yes, it's called Hick Micro Viewer, so let's go and get that first. Do 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 it's upside down. Wait, does this have a fingerprint reader? No, oh, and my fingerprint does not work anymore. Marvellous. Let us go to the app store. Yes, yes, yes. Search. Search. Hick Micro Viewer. Hick Micro Viewer, give me that. Do, 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 do. And then we need the extension, plug in the bottom. Plug that in there, extension in, open that. I agree to giving away all my details. Factory the measurements, blended. Allow accurate measurements, yes, yes. Colors, DIY things. Okay, go. Tap to add device. Duke. Add device. Uh, uh, say hand, hand. Uh, that one, the one plugs in the bottom of my phone. And let us now plug it in. I can hear it clicking. Can hear a variety of clicks. Yes, uh, use Hick Micro when the Hick Micro is attached. Access to the camera. I'll use the app. Uh, yes, auto calibration. Right, and there we go. Uh, let me just do a bit of screen record. So there we have that. that but there, that, that is my very very hot looking uh, Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro. Arms, super super IR. Oh, did I did I turn it on or did I turn it off? 
Okay, that's it off. Ooh, it goes all fuzzy. Everything in here should be the same temperature as everything else. Yeah, everything is background. The only hot thing is where I've been leaning on the table there. Now let's turn Super IR back on. Okay, it does sharpen up the edges a bit. Now that's where I've been leaning. That's the hot spot there, where my knee's been touching the thing. Yes, okay. My plan is to go outside later. That's that. The hot plug down there is the charger for that vacuum cleaner that is also charging, which appears to have two hot spots, one at the top and one at the battery. Okay, that's only slightly concerning. Right, as I was saying, um, I'm going to go outside later on and do from the outside of the house and see if where any heat leaks are coming from and I might do some inside ones to see if there's any, because there's a few vents in the walls that I want to check but yeah, I mean that's Iron Bow is your standard original FLIR looking one but yep, okay uh, I don't know about that uh, Temperature range, what's it got? So it'll do from minus 20 to 150 and then 100 to 400 which is probably as much temperature as I'll ever need or anyone will ever need. Temperature alarm, please be turned off, that's fine. Uh, I gave other David one of the other thermal imaging phones and it kept giving him a burn warning every time he pointed near a diesel heater. Uh, it's like you can turn it off in the in the menu, you know, you don't have to have the Oh, okay, picture in picture, so you can see what it is here. Except, uh, okay, picture in picture. Oh, calibration. Manual calibration and rotate. Now wait, does this do the automatic rotate thing? Does it know? Yes, it does. Well, the button's turned around. That's a start. Like, all the buttons turned around. Wait, can you, can you even see? Wait, I'm, re I'm recording the screen, aren't I? So you can see the, the things, actually. There was one of the other phones where... It didn't rotate and it just got stuck on sideways. Can you do? Can I do that? No, that makes it even worse. I should have just left it the way it was. Now that's upside down. That would be handy though if I had it on a tablet and it was. You know, because sometimes tablets either have the port on the side or on the bottom and then your things sideways. But yeah, that looks like about all the adjustability. There is obviously there's no uh you know, image combining because it's only got the thermal imager part on it, it's not got a visible light camera and the visible light camera for a phone is nowhere near the thing so the merge would be all sorts of weird. I take it, yeah, that just exits out there. Ooh, there's our device upgrade, let's let's just do that while we're... It is downloading, it better be downloading fast. Oh, it's all of 1.6 megabytes. I imagine it's just going to be various bug fixes and things like that. Look at my shaky hands. Been making a video for five minutes, I'm already knackered. Woo! Ta da! Yep, I don't see anything uh, weird, but come out of my centre. And a hot, and that'll be fine. I don't need. I just need a hot spot and in the middle. Cool, nice. Okay, right. We've seen it on the phone. Works fine. Let us see if I can find a laptop and connect it to that. The PC uh, app is called Hick Micro Analyzer. I haven't used my netbook um, thing because it's the only thing that's got USB C to C connections. You'd need to buy an adapter cable that did USB normal to USB-C because there's no adapters in there for changing that to that. But what am I accepting? Probably everything. Poor little netbook. What it usually spends most of the time is running the laser car. It's only got a very small, slow ARM processor. Good enough for laser. Not go up processing power here. What happens? 
I see there's a live tab at the top. Let's plug a camera in. USB device not recognized. Okay. Unplug. And replug. No error this time. Does my netbook not have the uh, required uh, oomph to do this? Doesn't look like it. Let's try again. Right, okay, I think we can take uh, this being a slightly... Let's pro I'm, I mean, I'm almost 100% sure it's because this is ARM based. It's supposed to be compatible, but hey, not not all ARM-based Windows apps and programs run properly, so I'm not going to hold that against it too much. And I don't have a standard machine to test it with that's got enough USB ports. Oh man, it is a cold Scottish morning, right? Oh. Let me see if I can do this. One, one, no, no handed. Right, I don't expect there to be anything too exciting. The heating's on inside. Uh, there's a little bit of heat leakage around that window. You can see the hots, the colds. Oh, this one. There's my reflection in the window. I'm curious about that vent. No, well, the fan's on just now, but. You can see the heat leaking around the window. You can see it leaking around the floor. That's odd. Door's not too bad. What about this window? It's not terrible. So you can see, you see the heat there right underneath the window. There's a radiator right behind that. So that's why that's showing a temperature. Yeah, let me. Set it to, I don't need enough hands here. Turn on the hot and the center temperature. Let's do that. So what's that? 16 degrees? What's the, how oh, cold's the wall? Uh, 14, two degrees difference. And there's the two air vents, you can see them there. Two air vents that would ventilate under the floor and they are still cold. What? Two minute records? Oh, that's, that's, well, I'm going to have to adjust that in the settings, hopefully. Two minutes records not quite enough, is it? Right, I went outside and I took some more pictures. This one is one of the uh, bedroom air vents and it's uh, exhausting hot air at the moment. It's, uh, I have noticed that even though turning the thing sideways doesn't actually make anything else sideways, just the buttons, but... I was impressed with the camera's responsiveness. The pictures are okay. Oh, that is that is the bathroom exhaust vent after I've had a shower and it is hot and it is exhausting. Hot, uh, steamy gases, you know, steam ventilation out of the bathroom, which is doing what I wanted to do. Excellent. And this is the drain from the bathroom. I just had a shower, so I expected the drain to be hot and it clearly shows it. The purple thing at the bottom is a weed and it's not as warm. Uh, the gutter... I think it just looks hot and it's not actually hot, hopefully. Uh, that, this is a, one of the Natatmo security cameras. They appear to run warm. Uh, they, all, they, they all do. They were all hot. What was it? At, like 19 degrees? And it's a cold Scottish morning. The sun is not shining. It is emitting all of its own heat. Now, this is the interior vent I was interested in. And you can see there it's letting cold air into the room where... The vent's body itself is cold and there's a cold spot on the floor, so I'll need to take care of that uh, ventilation problem. Okay, this picture here and the one that comes after are ones that are stored in the 
the apps album already built in to make it look like this is the kind of pictures the camera takes but as you can see these pictures do not look like anything like the pictures i took i mean there's not even in the branding the things at the top don't match the resolution is at least double or triple what this little camera is capable of so i think the marketing department may have snuck these ones in to show that because they are the resolution is a lot higher than what this camera is capable of taking even with the super ir my final thoughts on the little hick micro thermal imaging camera it's a nice camera it feels well made it's well, the old metal construction uh, if only slightly let down by the software i don't understand the two minute video maximum length hopefully that's a thing they can fix and have it record full length videos i cannot think of a good reason why it can only record two minutes and yet every other manufacturer just records it from basically to your phone memories full the super ir yes it works it kind of sharpens up the images but hopefully you've seen the video there that uh, they're not quite as sharp the pictures as well the um the ones that are stored in the uh, album uh, that's a little bit of a marketing whiz there but uh, yeah i mean they're still okay um but apart from that yeah i was i should have oh i had captured it when you're out using the camera it responds very quickly to you moving about like going between different temperature ranges there's a few of the other cameras they they're a bit slow at the um you know the refresh not refresh rate but their ability to change the range of temperatures that they're looking at but this one seems to do it um, quite well it's it's it is, it's good it's good for observation i'll give it that it's a lot better at observation than it is for the recording of said observations but yeah it is an all right little camera that i wouldn't mind having in the toolbox uh, just for the occasional purpose when you may require a thermal imager it's probably could do a screen protector or it's a little lens so you know i mean a lens protector then not a screen protector idiot but yeah so um any questions comments anything like that leave them down below i will try my very best to answer them and as always thanks for watching